afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me once again for a live business update. It gives us the opportunity to connect in this live manner for you to make to for you to see me make my usual cock ups, say things that I don't want to say, and generally get it wrong. But the main thing is, it gives us a form of connection, which is the next best thing to meeting face to face, of course. And as you know, I'm a huge advocate of doing things face to face, um, such as meetings, such as showcases, such as conferences. Yes, Zooms and everything like that does have its place and this is a form of that, but face to face is where the real connection of our kind of business really happens. We can't go around brandishing things like the people's business and then not connect and not meet in the way we do. So, which brings me on to, of course, the Viva MK um, showcase um, and gala dinner tickets went live yesterday. I can tell you now that we've already sold over a hundred gala dinner tickets, which again has um, blown me away because I had a certain target that I would hit in the first 24 hours. So we sold about 102 gala dinner tickets and about 115 showcase tickets so far. So that's almost a third of the allocation for gala dinner tickets already over and done with. So when people ask me, why do we do showcases? Why do we have gala dinners? Well, there's living proof why we have gala dinners and why we have company showcases for tickets to sell that quick to a gala dinner when you don't even know what the menu is. <laughs> and we will give you that soon. And to come along to an event like that. Um, it's just fantastic and it will be a phenomenal event. I know lots of companies have the events, but I don't think we'll ever go round, we will ever go down the route of just sitting around tables doing product demonstrations. That's just not us. Ours is energy, enthusiasm and excitement. And the only way you can manifest that is when you're together, when you're face to face, as we did at our first showcase. So the Don't Stop Me Now showcase will be phenomenal. Yes, it will be brandishing as many Queen songs as we can ram into it because it's a fantastic, exuberant, enthusiastic, energetic theme. And I do believe it's really going to work. And one of the reasons for doing it in that way is because I know how we stand out compared to the crowd. I know how us as a collective of people show how enthusiasm and energy and anticipation make a difference. I don't really care what other companies do, the way we do it, I think works for us and energy and enthusiasm are so important and we will have absolutely heaps of that on the 31st of August. We're still five months away. A third of our dinner allocation is already gone. Um, and like I said to you last week, I'm not going to start booking arenas or anything like that. I think we, we keep them small, although 500 plus numbers is no by no stretch of the imagination small, but we keep it intimate, we keep it small to, to enclose the energy like we did last time. So five months away and tickets went on sale yesterday. Still plenty of tickets, don't worry about that. Um, but I think it gives us a sense of belonging, a, a sense of celebration and connection. And you can't do that in any other situation other than being in one room connected with everybody else. So it's going to be a phenomenal event. And there's so much to talk about that as the weeks go by. So the biggest thing to discuss today is of course a software update um, and I've been writing to you that as the week has gone by um, and I'll continue to do that before this week is over to update you. I mean um, the brand new algorithm for the new sales plan is um, being tested and fixed as we go along um, but it is driving me to utter distraction as it is many of you. Uh, I get a daily push from people asking me where it is you know if it was ready and if it was ready to go you would certainly have it but I, I'm testing it we're, we're recalculating it and we're going through it I mean it's not that I asked for much all I wanted was a brand new back office to control your business an ordering site that is easy to order on 
a new network marketing algorithm that calculates all the commissions a new network marketing plan a recruitment link for prospects and a replicated shop that generates sales that's all i asked for um but clearly a month or two months wasn't enough to program so i'll keep you updated on that it is an absolute distraction i'm not going to let it get in the way i know i've got a lot a lot of support from a lot of people and i think every single one of you know that when it is ready you'll be the first to see it um you know this is the second run of software we've had the first one wasn't successful either this is the second one now and it's equally unsuccessful in its timing not in its execution and the way it's going to work because we've tried to put everything that was missing in the last one into this one um, but timelines is something that software companies don't seem to understand um, I don't quite know why, but we will get there. And again, I will communicate to you before this week is over. So before tomorrow, I'll let you know exactly where we are. And thank you for all the push that I get every single day from so many individuals. I won't name them, but I appreciate it. And I know you're as frustrated as I am, but we will get there. But I'm not going to let this distract us from the business. It's just another frustration that we'll get through. And I think to myself, yeah, I get sleepless nights over it. Yes, I worry about it. Yes, many of you do too. But compared to where we've come from and what we're doing, it's still, you know, a, a, a huge step forward. And, and we'll, we won't give up on it. Of course, we'll keep going and I'll keep, as, keep you abreast of it as much as possible. Um, so I'll, as I said, I'll communicate that to you before end of play tomorrow, maybe even today if I have any more news. It's obviously a USA based company, so most of them are still asleep at this moment in time. So we'll attack them as soon as they wake up and see where we are with things. Anyway, uh, so that's that's a testing testing part of the business but you know I don't think anything worth doing is ever easy none of this has been easy right from the beginning none of it you know um, and we're still going getting far with it and still getting on with it so that's that um, I told you that I'd give you some April objectives um, and I tried to write them down but I'm not very good at taking notes um, as you know I very rarely have them um, but some of my April objectives it are are quite straightforward really of course the first one is going to be to deliver to you the garden outdoor and a whole lot more catalog um just so you know it's approximately 300 products um over 64 pages so it's a quite a chunky um catalog i think in the past we used to call them summer spring special logs but as far as the summer and spring special log goes it's quite chunky at 64 pages and a, a spread of about 300 products i've got some examples of the way the page is going to going to look don't take too much heed of the actual product although those will be featured but I'm, again i just really want to highlight the way it's going to look um these are uh, hats, I think, but um, this is just one page. This is page 42. So it just gives you an example of the way it's going to look. It's going to have a very summary look to it, of course, um, hence the outdoor catalog. Um, I don't know who wears scarves in Skimmer, but people really clearly do. Um, so it's going to have a, a very summary feel to it. It's going to have a, have a brightness to it, but they're just two pages. Of course, we're um, desperately working on that to get it together um, to make sure that it's ready uh, for the end of April because that to me is an objective. And every month I'll set objectives that I'll share with you. Not only will that encourage myself and everybody to get them done and, uh, and completed, but then you will know exactly where we're going. A few weeks ago, I gave you the run of catalogs. I told you that um, the Back to Basics will be out and which you've got that at the end, end of March or just by the seat of our pants at the end of March. Um, the outdoors and garden and a whole lot more will be towards the end of April. Then towards the end of June, and we haven't got a name for the catalogue yet, but it will be New Beginnings number two. So that's almost like the, the main book that we used to have in the past. So that'll be bigger than 64 pages, obviously. So it'd be quite a chunky um, chunky book for, for, the, for the end of June. Then at the end of August, uh, of course, for the showcase reveal, it will be the Christmas catalog solely basing on Christmas retail and trying to capture that most lucrative market, of course. And the end of August is the perfect time, as you know, to get that out, even though it's only at the end, end of the summer. It's always the perfect time. And then towards the end of the year, uh, of course, there'll be new beginnings three. 
Um, so that's a lot of catalogs coming your way and a lot of products. There's a lot of experimentation in those products. So you might see some products in there you think, you know, are those going to sell or, or how are they going to do? But sometimes with a brand new organization, you have to test the market as well. Along that way, so there's the number of catalogs that are coming, but along that way, there will also be a Back to Basics Edition 2 reason being that edition one has done so well um, and we did really pump that one out is that the right expression pump that one out really fast straight after the showcase a lot of your feedback uh, so we pumped that out really fast the team did an extraordinary job getting that out um, but there will be an edition two as well because edition one's doing so well I don't have an exact date on that but I'd like to be able to give you as part of the April objective a date for when new uh, back to basics edition two will be in your hands because because it's doing so well and it's getting people to open the other catalogs. It's only been out about a week or so and so far the sales and the response from it has been phenomenal, not just from your sales, of course, but from your customers. Because for us, we have to satisfy two ends of the spectrum. We have to satisfy what you want because you know what works and we have to satisfy what your customers want. So that's kind of the runner catalogs, but in April, I'll give you a, a, a firmer deadline, but, but, but end of June for New Beginnings 2, end of August for Christmas, end of April for Outdoors, and almost end of the year, either end of November or early December will be New Beginnings 3. Um, incentives. Of course, last Friday we gave you, again by the seat of my pants because I said it would be March, I gave you our first ever car incentive, kept it very, very small. Uh, you know, we're not in the arena of giving quarter of a million cars, a quarter of a million pounds worth of cars away like we've done before. We've got to start small and see how it goes. Almost like a, it's almost like a, a test incentive. It's got some people excited. It's got some people very excited. And of course, every incentive cannot please everybody. And we know that. Um, but, you know, I don't know what people are expecting we, we're not in the in the world of putting out Ferraris that nobody can achieve or giving you Bentley Continentals that nobody will ever get we're not in that field you know one day maybe we'll be big enough so we have to start very very small and talking of small now where is this going to go talking of small um, many of you made lots of suggestions about incentives and Two people in particular have constantly told me, and it's Lisa and Kevin Ratton, so thank you for your recommendations, and of course, David and Rosie Bibby. You know, one thing you two distributorships have always told me is that we should also have much smaller incentives, maybe monthly incentives, something that can be... Um, uh, achieved on a monthly basis well I appreciate that and many people have come back with that suggestion as much as many love the, the car idea um, smaller more achievable incentives um, on, a, on a monthly basis that's something I'm looking into and the reason I'm telling you that now is that's an April objective that we will reveal to you so I'm still looking at that idea but thank you to all of you that have recommended that small achievable incentives awarded every single month whether it's for retailing or whether it's for sponsoring for whatever the criteria but a monthly incentive that is able that everybody's able to grab um or go for so thank you for all your suggestions and that that your your suggestions even the rude ones are all very very welcome so that's something uh, another uh, april objective okay they're not loads of objectives but I, I want you to know what the catalogs are we'll get some more incentives out and the software stays on there because um you know that is an ongoing project uh, you know there's there, there's a lot going on in the business all of the time um aside from those things there's also just the daily rigmarole of business that we constantly do and that's all of us in respect of the business itself, activity rates are back up again. Remember, we, we talked about registered distributors and, and, that, and that's fantastic talking about those. Goodness me, we have over 7,000 registered in the business now. Doesn't mean all 7,000 are doing business. That never ever happens. In network marketing, normally um, activity rates in any given month are anywhere between about 18% and 30% if you're very very lucky that's month in month out what our kind of business does because our product is fast moving consumer goods generally speaking you get regular activity so our activity rates 
uh, went back up in, in March and are over 20% now. But of course, that's a vast difference to having 7,000 distributors registered, but you have to have those numbers registered for the activity to come out. And the greater the active number is, the greater the business, but you have to have the numbers in the first place. So I still find it phenomenal that we have so many people registered. And of course, some of those might kick in as time goes and you've got teams yourselves where you may have you know, 20, 30 people in your team and only four of them placing regular orders that is the world of network marketing and to think that in our business which is uh, fast moving consumer goods generally speaking um, it's usually higher because you have a greater sense of repeat in there um, their products are people generally want or you can entice them to want and they're not necessarily products that people have never seen before or products that people you know i'm trying not to name other companies but products where people have a loyalty to other brands so we kind of go in that fmcg market so activity rates are getting up. So March was very good for that. April, I think, is going to be phenomenal for us because it's already started well after three or four days into the month. And, and that's really been motivated and generated uh, by the uh, Back to Basics catalogue. It really has been a dynamo in the business. Hence why I think it's absolutely vital that we look at addition two. You always knew there was going to be an addition two. Um, in the coming weeks, I'll give you the actual date of when to expect that so look there's a lot of products coming your way um, that you know um, and once we do have the the engine of the business which is the software working the way that it should you'll be the first to see it again I'll let you have um, information on that before the end of this week exactly where we are um, but it's obviously it's a lot of work as you know um and it's not my personal forte the way you have to rely on other people and what they tell you you know i'm not a software engineer myself i think you've worked that one out by now so other than that i guess you know the, the support that you're giving is still phenomenal it always has been and that's the one thing that i feel it does make our business stand out is is the warmth and connectivity of our business look I, I don't want to sound negative but and I don't really want to talk about other businesses but I hear of people being bullied in networks and all that rubbish going on look I'm never going to put up with that in this business you know I, I I'm would have to take drastic action if there's any of that in our organization at the moment we have warmth we have friendship and we have connection a real people organization no one's being pushed into anything no one's doing anything against their choices i can't go down that route ever in this organization others let them do that i couldn't care less i feel that people that we have in our business are not like that and they're not going to be like that and i will not ever ever allow that to happen i don't care who it is you know true leadership isn't about status it isn't about what you earn it isn't about the car you drive or the house you live in it's none of that true leadership is helping other people be successful and as dave wilson quite rightly pointed out yesterday again you know somebody who i regard as a true leader in the, in the business somebody who kind of looks for people that are going to be more successful than they are do you know in my humble opinion that is the truest form of leadership that you constantly create other uh, leaders you help people be successful you give them that helping support but you kind of look for people that are going to be far more successful than you are that is the truest form of non-egotistical leadership never call yourself a leader that's for others to decide not you you know i'm not a leader i am if somebody else thinks